Hello and welcome to the second episode of Mechanical Mashup. This is a do-it-yourself podcast where Dave and I will grab stuff from the garbage, anything not tied down, or anything not attended and turn it into something functional or hopefully useful. Today, coroplast, some aluminum tape, PVC piping, and some odds and ends that we find at the hardware store will get turned into a light box. Com backslash fill my like the tech t-shirt I made for myself. Huh? Huh? Generally you want to be able to do some green screen or chroma key lighting for these backyard effects that you can see in Film Riot. Problem with doing a lot of this stuff is the expense of the lighting systems. Now in the next couple episodes we're gonna be covering lighting systems, but you lighting system people a little closer. Are you Friggin' mad? Like, good God, $500 for something I could put together for 50 bucks in a bloody hardware store? Ah, do you know what I could do with that $500? Probably solve the world energy crisis, but no. As long as you're having your nice cream latte and God knows what coffee shop somewhere, as long as you're happy. And due to last week's episode with Dave and a little bit of rain, Dave will show you how to make a rain shield for your camera. Something fun. 
now I know what you're thinking. You're expecting me to go yeehaw, but it's rude to go yeehaw twice in a row. So this time, just check things out from our sponsors. LisaFarrells.com, custom artwork on canvas, custom artwork on skateboards, custom grip tape jobs, custom artwork on anything, LisaFarrells.com. Hi, Dave Spencer here for Mechanical Mashup. I just bought my wife this wonderful new camera for her birthday, but of course I want to use it. And uh, when I use it, I tend to wreck a lot of the stuff I use, so I need to find some way of protecting this. When I'm outside shooting in the rain, I want to have a little rain cover for it, uh, so I don't wreck my wife's new birthday gift. Using a 3D software package, I created an approximate model of the camera, and then I built the shield the way I wanted it around it, allowing for room for my fingers to get into the control still. So now with this program I've printed out a flat pattern and a bend template. So to transfer my flat pattern to the piece of steel I'm going to be working on, I actually tape it right down to the piece of metal. Once it's firmly attached, I can take my center punch and mark out not only the holes, all the corners and bend lines. So once your center punches are all in place, I like to take a magic marker and just roughly mark out where my lines are so they're easy to find. The trick I've learned for making nice straight cuts with a angle grinder is to take a straight edge, just an old scrap piece of steel, and clamp on holding it nice and tight. We should always very carefully clean off all these sharp edges because we don't want to cut ourselves while we're doing this. Now we're not quite done yet. We still have our bend lines to do here. Uh, if you had a nice uh, brake press or something like that, you could easily bend this yourself uh, without any further work on it, but uh, my thing for bending is very small and weak and this uh, steel here would probably end up breaking it, so I have to score my metal first in order to make it bend on that line. Now you don't even need a break, you could do this in a vise, uh, but the scoring really helps keep your lines nice and straight. So same thing as before, we're going to use a piece of steel. I'm not even going to bother clamping it this time. Just going to hold it down in place. So this is my handy dandy bender here. I got it from Busy Bee for about uh, $30 I think I paid. So for about 15 minutes of labor, the cost of a small screw and a little tiny piece of stainless steel sheet metal, I've created a rain shield for my wife's camera so I won't wreck it. Uh, it works just on the camera handheld as well it works on a tripod. Now, I wouldn't suggest taking this out in a torrential rainstorm. You're probably still going to get some splash and some water in it, but if you were setting up for say some uh, long exposure shooting. Uh, at night time or some time-lapse photography you could walk away from your camera and not worry about it if it was going to sprinkle a little bit. For Mechanical Mashup this is Dave Spencer. how to make a rain shield with Dave and how to make a light box. Um, this is really kind of nice because this way you can keep a little bit of that money. Well, I don't know, do things like feed the family or have a beer. Keep that money away from the cheesy eat and surrender monkeys of light manufacturers. You'll notice that there's been a few little changes and tweaks to the show. Let's remember that all the comments that you leave on the site will let me know what direction you'd like this podcast to take. I like building things. I like presenting it to you. That format and the best way to convey it to you 
that's up to you. So you need to tell me and Dave how you want things presented and we'll slowly work that into the system. But remember to show some love to lisafarrows.com if you need some graphics added to oh, pretty much anything. I need and Dave need some help from you. We need to spread the word about Mechanical Mashup. I want you to tell everybody you know about it. I want you to spread the news about how great Mechanical Mashup is because the only way that this cast can be a success is by you, the users, one, letting me know and Dave know what we need to do to make this cast successful, and two, spreading the word. So hopefully you can help us out in that.